This next case is a Hagland's deformity with some pre-Achilles bursitis. Let's just mark some anatomy in. So this lady's Achilles is coming down here, 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 here. There's a little bit of insertional Achilles tendinopathy here. She's a little bit thick at the back, very, very slightly so. A little bit of insertional Achilles tendinopathy here. The non-insertional Achilles, which would normally be here, is fine. But this lady's main symptom is in this area here. So this is the pre-Achilles bursa. Achilles, pre-Achilles bursa. Top of the calc is coming in at about that level there. And this is where my lady is sore. So if I press on there, that is where my lady is sore. And you can't see my lady's expression, but she's wincing a little bit. I've got the MRI scan and I've got the X-ray and the MRI scan showing quite a little bit of bursitis in there. So we're going to try and settle that down with a steroid. Nice small syringe, 2.5 mil syringe, does really nice for these. Pop that on there. For this case, because it's soft tissue, Depamedrone is a little nicer, so I wouldn't go anywhere near a tendon with Kenalog, Trimson alone. So Depamedrone just a lot kinder to the soft tissues, and I'm only going to put in a small dose. So this comes as 40 mg in one milliliter, so I'm going to put in about half a mil there. This is where it becomes a little bit more art than science. And I'm going to dilute that with some local anaesthetic. Why do I do that? Well, it, it dilutes the, uh, the injection, allows it to spread out a little bit more. We get a diagnostic uh, effect from the local anaesthetic. And it also means that she's less painful afterwards. We don't resheath needles. You've seen me do this before. That's just a nice quick way of resheathing. And then a separate needle for the injection. Green to draw with ideally, and I like a blue 23 gauge to inject with. So there's our injectate. Bit of skin prep. These are the chloro preps that I like. A little snap, breaks the seal. I normally get them going on the back of the glove and then clean the skin. Off to one side, going to get some gauze. Often be a little bit of bleeding, so gauze to hand. You can do this under all sound guidance if you're not sure where the, the bursa is, but we're real happy with this. So a little scratch coming up. Three, two, one, scratch. We know the artery is coming down here, so we're away from that. And then we're just going to very gently just joystick that into the hot spot. And my patient just let me know we were in the right area there. Sorry, my hand's in the way. Little sting going in. Now I'm going in very gently and I'm feeling how that injects in. I'm also responding to how my patient's reacting. And there's a little bit of, of, of ooh and ah. And that tells me I'm in the right area. Look for any sign of bleeding. A little bit. Can you just see there's a little bit of the fluid coming out? So pressure just keeps it in. Amazing. And that's it done.